Now, this isn't the first time that Ozzy has played away in their 34 year marriage. Sharon has already forgiven him twice for having affairs with the children's nannies um, after catching him in bed with them. Um, now, Jane, you, you know them both pretty well. Do you think that third time, well, this is the third time that we know about, she's going to take him back? Can she forgive him? Uh, I, I really don't know. I mean, they're not at that stage at the minute. I mean, just to put it in, into context, I ghost wrote her um, autobiography, Unbreakable. So I, I lived with them. There she is. That's, she's not wearing shoes, and I am. I just like to <laughs> <laughs> She's not quite that small. Um, but um, so I lived with them so for a couple of weeks, and I, I had a real insight into, into their life and their marriage. And... It's funny because outside of, of the family home, Sharon has a reputation of being very feisty, you know, a bit of a ball breaker. And, um, but in the family home, she's not like that at all. She's really soft, quite vulnerable, very much the matriarch of the family. And he's, you know, if he has done, he's a fool because she makes this family home amazing. They're a very close-knit family. He has everything he wants in that house, you know. He's got his gym, she fills the fridge with everything that he needs for a healthy diet because obviously he's sustained a lot of drug damage over the years and he needs to keep fit and healthy. Um, Ozzy's an addict. Mm. Ozzy is an addict and every single day for him it is a struggle to not to not go back to that. So he every room you go in he has a, a book on the table, the 12 step mm. book. He has a sponsor that comes to see him pretty much every day, you know. For those yeah. who don't know, if you're in Alcoholics Anonymous, there's somebody that you can ring if you feel you're getting close to. And it's a pattern that's happened before. He's on tour with Black Sabbath. What's happened is he's come out of that His family bubble. home yeah. scenario where everything is great. she used to tour with him, but she's not... Well, she used to yeah. go a lot with him, yeah. yeah. And now, now she's, she's she does a show like yeah. this every day, so she can't. Um, how but do you her, think she found out? Well, she will have found out because when he goes on tour, <clears throat> there are, she knows him inside out and back to front. Yeah. There will have been some behavioural change. Well, yeah. she'll have thought, but it probably wouldn't have been about cheating. It probably would have been, is he Drink. back on Drink drugs or yeah, drink yeah. again? Yeah. Yeah. And what she does is, she's admitted it in, in the book we did together, she goes through his wash bag when he comes home to see if he's got any prescription medications in particular that he's not supposed to have. He's found yeah. some dodgy doctor to give them to him. Um, she goes through his phone looking, has he been talking to dealers? So she will have found something that way. Do you, do you, think, do you think it is the last door or do you think they, they almost can't survive without each other, really, can they? He, he definitely can't survive without her. And mm. I think... He, I, I don't know who this woman is, I don't know the mm. veracity of the claims, but... If she's sort of one of those sort of rock chicks who just think, hey, I've got this great rock and roll star, and she's probably saying, you can be yourself with me. Oh, yeah. Believe me. In a if... few weeks when she's having to wash his pants, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, You know, and he will, I guarantee you, he mm. will want to come back. Whether or not Sharon um, lets him often, is up to her. But also there's often in a relationship with somebody that is an addict, yeah. the partner is often very almost addicted to that person as well. There's a codependency that often goes on. And she probably does need him as oh, much she as he yeah. needs her. her. They adore each other. Uh. But does there come a time, Jane, where just love isn't enough? Where you have been at somebody's side, not necessarily, you know, in this instance, but you've been somebody's side for generations, you know, for decades, rather, and uh, you've done everything you possibly can, and again and again and again, and just after a while, you just have to say, I, I, can't, I can't carry you anymore. You're yeah. too heavy. Do you I know that I do that? I think she's been at that point before, and, and you know, <coughs> she loves... She lo they've been together forever. Yeah. You know, she loves him. Their kids are How so... How do you think the kids will be reacting to it? Well, they, they, it was Mother's Day in America yesterday. Oh, poor So thing. they all came to the house. Jack brought his two children. Um, Amy and Kelly came as well. And again, you know, the kids, the kids will be... If they know where he... I mean, he's in a hotel down the road, I think. But the kids will be saying to him, you mug, yeah. you yeah. mug. Yeah. You know, you've got all of us here. You've got this fantastic family. But I'm not making excuses. 
he's an addict. He's an addict. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes that, the love of the, ad, the addiction, sometimes mm. overtakes your love for everybody else. And I think, I think so as well, if you, if, you, if you are in that situation and you are living with an addict and you do get to the point where you think is enough is enough, don't blame yourself. Because no. I know there's a lot of people, like you're saying, mm. Nadia, she doesn't that blame you herself have that ever. need to care. No. Mm. She always well, says, it's we've your had fault. Such Good. a massive, <laughs> massive response about this. Um, Jean says, that's sad, but I think Sharon has probably put up with a lot over the years and now would be a good time to find some peace for herself. Oh. Um, Emma says he attempted to kill her years ago and she still stayed with him. I doubt she'll leave him. And Gary says, I'm amazed any woman would even dare to take on Sharon Osbourne by sleeping with Ozzy. <laughs> There's more from Gary. <laughs> he says, if I was that hairdresser, I'd run for the hills. Sharon's coming for you. <laughs> and you know what? Even if she isn't coming, she, she'll send the postman after yeah, you. Yeah. She, she's been known, and I'm not yes. even making this up, she gets her dog to poo in little... Or not even... Well, oh, she, did it, poo. she did that once in... Bit, that oh, was you a poo in a box deal. once and send it to <laughs> someone, and you're ever, forever yeah. a poo in a box and send it to someone. <laughs> well, there you go. For more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. Let me see that gorgeous baby. <laughs> <gasps> It's so good to see you. Oh, my Lord, it's so good to see you. Let me see this little perfect peanut. Mm, you're crying. She doesn't cry. She doesn't. No, 